In this video, I'm going to share with you the major differences between a manufactured home and a modular home. Hi there, I'm Jeannie Steele with J Steele Realty. And in this video today, we're going to talk about the differences between manufactured homes and modular homes. So stay to the end of this video and hopefully we can give you enough information to help you make the best decision for which home is right for you. Modular homes are built in a factory. They can be completely customizable. They take between eight and 15 months to build. They're delivered to your property and placed on a foundation. They're examined by third parties. They are built to the international building codes so they can actually meet or exceed your local construction codes. Manufactured homes are also built in a factory. They're built with a steel chassis in the floor joists underneath. They're the least expensive housing option. They can be placed on a permanent foundation, however, they don't have to be. They have customizable floor plans depending on the manufacturer. They're built to the national HUD codes and they're examined by third party inspectors. Modular homes are built in the factory and then they're transported to your land where you want them placed. If you're using a city lot, they're gonna to need to be hooked up to the city and sewer services. They're placed on a permanent foundation. If you're placing them in the country where you don't have city services, they're gonna to need to be hooked up to a well and a septic. Manufactured homes are also delivered to the building site where they will be placed. They can be put on a permanent foundation, but they don't have to be. Manufactured homes can be placed in uh, mobile parks where you would have a lot rent, you don't own the land, but they could also be placed on land that you do own. A manufactured home, if you choose to place it on land that you own and you attach it to the ground, it goes through a process called detitling. At that point, the vehicle title that comes with your manufactured home is removed and your property becomes real property. Mobile home and manufactured homes uh, sometimes get a bad reputation. People think that they don't hold their value or that they don't increase in value. Again, a modular home, if people are educated correctly, should have the same value that a stick-built home does because they're built in the exact same manner, just in different locations. A stick-built home is built on site, a manufactured home is built in a controlled environment and then it's moved to the site. It's often lifted with a crane and put on the permanent foundation. Many people don't understand that both modular homes and manufactured homes are customizable. If you have plans, a modular home can be completely customizable as long as it can be built in sections. How long will your modular or manufactured home last? Well, all homes have maintenance and all homes depend on what materials you have used to build them of how long they're gonna last and how you take care of them. Any home that doesn't have regular maintenance is not going to hold up. Manufactured homes have a reputation of having less quality material that's used. But in all honesty, when you buy a manufactured home, you can choose to upgrade the products that are used in it, the flooring, the cabinets, the carpeting, even the wall surfaces. There's also a thought process out there that manufactured and modular homes cannot withstand the elements. However, they're built in a controlled environment. 
They don't, like a stick built home, you could put in your subfloor and have a snowstorm come or a rainstorm. You know, you're out there shoveling the snow, trying to get it off of the subfloor, and then you have to worry about getting the moisture back out of that product. We well, don't have that with a manufacturer modular at home because they're built in a controlled environment where there isn't any snow or rain or wind. The products that they use today are very good. The other thing is that many people, you know, don't think about, these homes are built to be moved to the site. So they have to be able to handle shifting and moving um, to get there. As with any home, how you maintain your home is how it stands to the elements. Any home that you don't take care of or that you don't treat with the right products during the seasons is going to have a chance of having a lifespan not as long as it was intended to. So if you take precautions and take care of your roof, take care of your siding, your home can maintain and withstand the elements in any environment, including here in Montana, where we tend to have winters, a lot of snow, we tend to have a lot of wind, and we see these homes survive the elements with no problems. So at the end of the day, a manufactured home or a modular home could be a very good option for you. It could be built in a more timely manner than a stick-built home, but completely customizable, and it could become at a cost savings. Now, there's also a little secret that I didn't tell you about. So here in Montana, and we're right on the edge of the Bakken oil field that shut down or is not producing at the level that it was. When the Bakken oil field blew up, there was not enough housing there. So housing was popping up in every form possible. Manufactured homes became a very hot commodity because they could be moved in very quickly. Most of them were not put on permanent foundations, so they still can be moved. Many of them are not being lived in today because there was a mass exodus of workers when the field shut down and there was no more jobs. So we're finding that people can find homes for very reasonable prices in North Dakota and have them shipped to Montana. If this is something that's interesting to you, navigating through the process, reach out. We accept call, text, and email.